So the ovary is uh, just right here. And then the, the fallopian tube or oviduct or uterine tube just starts up here and it just it, it wraps around the outside of the uterus. And then you don't really need to, I mean up in here the this expanded end of the oviduct would be the infundibulum, which I mean, it's just this whole area and then you can't see the little finger-like fimbria that come off the infundibulum and I can't get my probe into the ostium which would be just the opening here into the infundibulum. So I mean all that's right in there. The infundibulum is sort of like a pouch? No, it's just the expanded end of, of the oviduct. Okay. So in other words, like if my arm would be, you know, like the, the oviduct here, we've got this expanded end, which would be the infundibulum, and the ostium would be where the egg would come out of the ovary and then go into, through the infundibulum, and then on so down the, the oviduct. So the ostium would be like this part? Well, the ostium is the actual opening. Opening, just opening, okay. Just the opening, yeah. So the oviduct or uterine tube here is very small, and then we come into the horn of the uterus, one on each side, and then the two horns of the uterus come down here and form the body of the uterus. And then um, the base of the body of the uterus, which we didn't cut open, which would be the cervix. The cervix uh, is going to lead uh, here into the vagina, which is deep, and you know, here's the urethra coming from the bladder. And so up in this area, the vagina and the urethra would be separate, but then when we get down into this area, the two will join. And then from that point on to the outside, we will have a urogenital sinus. And so that's why then when we, we separated here, this area from the rectum, anyway. There's an opening right there. That's where the urethra is joining the vagina. That opening right there. So from that point on down to the end would be the urogenital sinus. And then on the ventral side here, there's a little pocket and a little piece of tissue in the pocket, which is very small and very difficult to see in the cat. It's right in that mid-ventral area, and that would be the clitoris. And that would be homologous to the to the glands, penis, and the male. And then, in terms of the membranes, <clears throat> this anterior membrane that's going forward towards the kidneys would be the suspensory ligament of the ovary. Um, the membrane here, which is actually uh, supporting the ovary would be the mesovarian. Uh, the membrane the membrane down in here, which is actually supporting the uterine tube or oviduct. Um, ah, can, um, and, uh, let me take a look at that. Would be the mesosalpinx. <laughs> okay. Because it's, it's so small. Uh, so the mesovarium is one of them. Mesovarium is is going to be right here, that's directly supporting the ovary, as opposed to the suspensory ligament, which is this membrane that goes forward towards the kidneys. So the mesovarium is smaller. Is yeah, it's just directly portion? underneath the ovary, right here. Okay. And then again, mesosalpinx would be. This membrane in here that's supporting the oviduct. It's actual ovary membrane. Pardon? Is it the actual ovary membrane? No, no the, the, the membrane that supports the ovary is the mesovarium. Mm -hmm. This membrane here is supporting the oviduct, and that, oh, is, the, okay. that is the mesosalpinx. Yes. Okay. And then the membrane here that's supporting the uterine horn um, would be the mesometrium. And so actually the mesometrium, the mesovarium, and the mesosalpinx 
form what's called the broad ligament, which runs up and down here. So the broad ligament is simply a more inclusive term for mesometrium, mesovarium, and mesosalpinx. And then the round ligament is the ligament here that goes from the broad ligament over towards the body wall. And that's homologous to the gubernaculum of the male. And that is about it. Well, in terms of the pouches, again, pubovesical pouch uh, is, is right here. Again, I've, I cut through the pubic bones so we could open this up. So the first layer? Yeah, so the, right up here would be a pubovesical pouch. And then in between the bladder and the uterus um, would be the um, vesicogenital pouch. And then between the uterus and the rectum would be the rectogenital pouch. So again, females, there's three pouches, males, there's two. 